great. <laughs> Can you quickly uh, go to your Rebecca Moore email? I yeah. I'm going to verify your a Patreon login because I want to watch it on my laptop. Okay. I want to put it on Patreon. Oh, okay. Hold on. Right. I haven't got any emails that have come up. Oh. It's not come through. Hold on. Is it in my junk box? Spam. Maybe not. Uh, fuck it. Just, yeah, just go live. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Hi, Andy Ray. Okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to wait. There's 23 people in. Great. Oh, yeah, wow. This, this looks, this looks, all right. Anyway, thank you for that. <laughs> no all right, bye. I logged into the yeah. room. Okay, bye. I'm not allowed to swear, am I? Uh, you can swear. You can do whatever you want. I can't. Well, no, no. <laughs> I'll keep it PG. All right, bye. <laughs> Hi, guys. Sorry about that. Um, I basically didn't know what I was doing. I ended up logging into another channel. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. So, here is me on my YouTube. I'm going to say hello to a few of you on the live. And then um, I'm gonna, I've got some, like, questions and answers from Twitter. And um, I'm really looking forward to this. This is the first time I've done this. This is a major rush. I had to set up the camera. It's it's not like webcam or anything like that. So um, hello, everybody. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course, I'm repping daddy all the time. Thank you very much. It's really nice to meet you all. Thank you all for coming and joining. This is my first live Q&A. So um, I'm going to get some questions up. That I've already been asked, so let me get it up. I just got to scroll. I've just got to go down here, and here we is, and here we are. So great! I would just like to say hello to all of my Patreon members. I've got all of your um, your names and everything down here. First of all. Stefan, it's wonderful to meet you. Stefan, I'm not sure if I should read out people's surnames. So I'm going to not do that <laughs> just yet. But I know the ones that don't mind. So also Simon. Oh, sod it. Let's just give their surnames. So Stefan Lacombe. It's not like it's adult anyway. So it's Patreon. Stefan Lacombe, hello. Simon Hamilton, hello to you as well. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon. Leon Byford, thank you for joining my Patreon. Eric Jones, mwah, I know you. Daniel Matthews, oh, that's a lovely picture. You're wearing a bow tie. Eric Ma Eric Jones as well has got an amazing picture as well with, with your buy at your camping or something. And Kieran Poline, I hope I've pronounced that right. You can always tell me off in Patreon if I haven't. And of course... Austin Reba, who is posing next to something rather large. Um, Lauren Batten doesn't have a um, picture, but hello. And Chris, uh, hello to all of you guys. And I'm going to read out some of the questions that I've had. Um, I'm just saying hello to the people that are currently in the room as well. Hello, everybody in the room. So... Okay, this is a nice question. How do I find time and motivation to eat healthy and go to the gym? So I am actually on a very, very strict healthy eating regime right now um, because I, you probably will believe it, put on some weight during the pandemic and I couldn't believe it when I got on the scales. I was like, whoa, this crept up on me. So when I went into lockdown, I looked great. I was very happy. And then when it came out, I was just like, where did this all come from? So I had to instruct an online personal trainer who, uh, because I don't go to gym, I live in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And um, it's like countryside here. So there's no gyms really. So I just decided to train myself. So I have some kettlebells and some weights. And um I go walking and and obviously I wasn't getting any sex exercise during the lockdown. So 
I just keep as fit as I possibly can by um, following my personal trainer's regime. Her name is Chloe. She's very sweet. I have to calorie count. Uh, so that was very hard. I've never calorie counted in my life. So yeah, that was quite interesting. And it's, yeah, I've just got to do something every day. I've do 10, I have to buy this, my Fitbit, do 10,000 steps a day and it's going well. So, but I've still got a, like about eight pounds or something to move to lose and that's me at my happiest I think you know if you want to be a certain size that's your body confidence you know you can be whatever size you want but me personally I want to be um I want to fit into all my clothes that I bought that I have had for years and I now no longer fit in them for example my jeans I no longer fit in those jeans so I need to I can't buy a whole new wardrobe just because I ate too much. So I just think I want to be that size. I'm going to be it. But I am all for whatever size anybody wants to be. I just want to be a certain size. And right now, I'm actually a little bit too big for my clothes. So that's a very long-winded way to answer that question. So I don't go to the gym. I have my, I do my home workouts. I'm actually going to set up my own solo gym in my garage. I'm going to keep looking as you're all talking. Hello. It's so nice to meet you all. Um, I love you too. Roy Roy, Andy, Ava Crumbles. That's a nice name. Kenzie, Heseltine, Shanky Six, Kenzie. So uh, thank you very much. Estelle Callan. It's lovely people here today joining me, Ethan, Jack Thomas, um, contacting you, well presents, oh yeah, guest star, oh, well that would be quite a lot of fun, I have actually met well presents when I was in LA, they're a lovely bunch, I went to the offices there where they do drag race, I am watching Canada Drag Race, I'm absolutely obsessed, you're welcome, Joshua. Okay, so I'm caught up there. I love you all too. Hello, hello. So we're going to move on to another question. And then I've got some questions from Twitter. I love a Q&A. What is your favourite meal to make? So everybody knows, probably most people, but if you don't know, I am a plant-based dieter. So some people call it vegan. I like to say plant-based. I do not eat animals. I love animals. I cannot bear to see anything happen to them. So I would never eat one. And um, I don't have dairy or anything like that. So I tend to have a lot of carbohydrates, which is probably why I put on weight. Oh, my darling Sophie, just text me. We are working on a very special project, me and Sophie. This is where she's going to be saying, this is actually my spare room, which is where I'll be doing interviews and stuff like that. And Sophie's going to be coming to stay for a lovely long weekend. And we're going to be doing some amazing things, which I'm very, very excited about. And um, it'd be amazing if she can come on with me as well and do a live questions and answers. My favorite song right now. Oh my goodness. Well, what? Of course. It's absolutely amazing. But I listen to so many different songs. I've got the most eclectic. I know that's, that gets used a lot when you're referring to music. Taste in music. Uh, I just love a bit of everything. I'm So, yeah, so vegetarian, I don't eat dairy. So I'm more plant-based, like, vegan, you know? So who else? Yes, we love Sophie. Me and Sophie have got so many fun things lined up. I cannot wait to see her. She's on holiday at the moment. I told her to have a cocktail for me. She is having a wonderful time. Um, so what influenced me to go plant-based? So back in the day, all my girlfriends, my working girlfriends, they were all vegan, vegetarian. I used to go out with them and I was the only one that was eating meat and stuff like that. And they would all very gently push, 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 you know, their views onto me, et cetera. And then one day it just clicked. Um, I just put the meat in my mouth and I just was like, I'm eating a dead body. <laughs> and so I just put, uh, I do eat naughty stuff, you know, but I tend to just eat a lot of vegetables and pasta and things like that. And I just feel great. I have my vitamins and I'm fine. So... 
Oh, wow, that I'm learning some Spanish. Thank you. I better not read that out just in case it's not and it's something else. I love you all too. Right, I've got some more questions. So, oh, so we didn't get to what is my favorite meal to make. So I went all around the houses and didn't answer the question. So my favorite meal to make, it's a cheat meal. It would have to be, I love every food under the sun. It'd have to be a vegan pizza, homemade. I make the dough, I make everything. Um, or I love, love, love making vegan brownies. They are delicious. So yeah, really cheat email and burgers and stuff, but I can do fine dining, you know, I'm very talented. So anyway, I have to share some of my recipes with you, which brings me to tell you <laughs> I am going to be doing some cooking. Yes, I will be. Anyway, do you like my nails? They're lovely, aren't they? I got them done the other day. That was quite difficult going, like not having my nails. I love having my nails. So what's my favorite guilty pleasure TV show or film? Okay, all this weekend, I have gone back. So I'm having a few problems with my TV. So I went on to Netflix. I'm rubbish with TV, by the way. I went on to Netflix and I watched celeb come celebs go dating i have not laughed so much in my life it is absolutely ridiculous that eden and nadia they are the worst people to get like they are terrible at actually fixing up proper dates but honestly i watched the one with joey essex and charlotte and all those kind of people and the girl from um chelsea it was hysterical, absolutely hysterical. And Paisley from Tar Tattoo Fixers. Honestly, I didn't realize how good the show was. It is so funny. It's so funny. I literally was absolutely back to back watching them and in hysterics. That is definitely trash TV, but well worth watch. Um, as for films, goodness me. What's it? They're all really good ones, though. They're not like a guilty pleasure. I'd have to leave. I'd have to think about that one. My guilty pleasure film. Oh, so what is? I would read out who these questions from, but I don't know. What is my go-to cocktail? Well, I know the answer to this because I love a good cocktail. Um, I actually don't drink. So I always go for mocktails. And my favorite one it would have to be um, a virgin mojito. I love them. They are so good. All the sugar. Actually, I can't really. Talking of drinks, I've got a little drink here. Mmm. Cheers. Mm. And um, that's my favorite, Virgin Mojito. I'm just reading all your comments. It is, Joshua, Caitlin, it is. It's mental. It's honestly, I. it's so funny. I have not like laughed so hysterical. Like it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And there's something about um, the girl from, what's her name? Charlotte. I can't remember her surname, but she's the one from um, Geordie Shaw. I love that girl. I, I go through this whole thing of like, she's very sex positive. She's hysterical. She's so sweet. She is somebody that you want to be around. I think she's lovely. <clears throat> Rebecca, I uh, oh, I might be married. I might not be. Who knows? I keep you guessing. Okay, more questions. Okay, so I'm going over to Twitter now. If you have any questions you want to ask me, please feel free. Feel free. The funny thing is, is I can't, it's got to be PG. I can't, I don't think I can talk about anything else who's my favorite drag queen well i don't have a favorite because there's so many incredible drag queens um i absolutely love jasmine rice though 
she is you know every time I see a picture of her I just love her I love her to bits she is so talented she might you know the way she dresses she's beautiful I love her she's a drag queen in New York um look her up she is just iconic so Okay, of course, I've got a soft spot for her. Um, but yeah, there's so many amazing ones that it's really, really hard to um, isolate. And honestly, like, it's such, I think being a drag queen is so, it's, I watch drag race and I think, bloody hell, you've got to be so multi talented. You've got to sew, you've got to make people laugh, you've got to do everything, and you cannot fail. Do you know what I mean? There's so much that you've got to cover. So um, I've got a lot of respect for every single drag queen. A lot of respect. Um, okay, I'm going over to my questions on um, Twitter. And I'm trying to find the hashtag because then it's easier for me to find the actual questions. Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm going to retweet that. Is everybody on Twitter? Uh, and then I'll read the questions here. So this is fun, isn't it? I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I will get better at this. Ba, ba, ba. Let's have a look. Scrolling down. I've had a lot of tweets today. Scrolling down. Where? Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay. I can blow you a kiss. That one's to date. Are me and Sophie going to do another Netflix show? Well, we might. We have got, we are working really hard right now on a few things. And we cannot wait to share them with you. Um, I cannot wait. She's coming over here. We're going to have a great day filming. I think you're going to be impressed with what we've got coming. So thank you, Callan Kent. What a nice, let me have a look at your picture. Callan Kent. And Dilton, Dilton, hello. If you had a choice, okay, darling, I cannot answer that. It's not YouTube friendly. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something today. This is from Joseph Martin and his fiance is called it Linus, which rhymes with Linus which rhymes with something else. And this is what he drew of me. I think it's brilliant because, you know, after a good time, it's pretty good, isn't it? Owen Quinn, absolutely. It's called Only and it's for fans. You can check it out on my Twitter. You can talk about whatever you want over there. This is a different platform though. So, Oh, Destroy Media has asked me how long I've been at CD for. Well, it's a very, very long time. Very long time. Okay. Bushido Evil Ninja. Hello. I've, I'm going to answer this for you. What do I like most about the UK? Well, what I love about the UK is I like the fact it doesn't get too hot because I am a bit of a heat phobe. So I quite like going out running when it's nice and cool. I'm not a fan of the wind. I like it just right. A little bit of sunshine. I like going skiing as well. Um, and so there's lots I like about the UK. I like the countryside. I like the greenery. Um, I like... I like going into London and then I like coming out and just being in the countryside and being away from everyone. And then London is, you know, there's loads of fancy bars and cool stuff. You know, there's lots of friendly people. Um, and what else do I like about England? I like the music. And yeah, I'm sure there's more things that I can think about. But I love where I live. I live in the country, so I love it. So that's like, to me, you know, animals, farmland. I love that kind of thing. That's very, very UK to me. I love that. I love it. I love loads of animals and stuff. And they stink, you know, but that's fine. 
Um, okay. What tog is my duvet? I'm not sure, actually, darling. Josh is brilliant. Thank you for that lovely question. I don't actually know what tog my duvet is, but when I do find out, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay. This is a lovely question. I saw Horia is her name. Okay. If Pride 2021 goes to plan, are you going to London or Brighton? Me and my best mate really want to meet you and make an iconic memory. Love you. Big heart. So, darling, every year I in August is mine and my best friend's birthday and Brighton Pride is always on. So I will meet you at Brighton Pride because I will be down there. I'm usually there for the whole week. And um, it just happens to fall on my birthday, which is around August 7th. It is August 7th. Um, I'm going to be a bit more quiet about it next year because I really made a big fuss of myself and made everybody say happy birthday because it was my 40th. Anyway, let's answer some more questions here. How do people react to you in public? Do you feel nervous going out and recognised for who you are? That's from Owen Quinn. That's a very nice question. I feel absolutely fine going out in public. I feel absolutely gobsmacked when people recognise me when I have no makeup on. Um, but they do. And because I feel like when I put my makeup on, I'm like a completely different person. But yeah, people recognise me without makeup on. And that's like, wow um so yeah i like it i'm like it's funny um <clears throat> before the whole uh cocktail outbreak um people like a year or more like really secret but now my cocktail fans they just come screaming up to me going you're rebecca ah and so it's real fun i have amazing fans and I always get approached very nicely. I only have a handful of um, number. I don't really get any negativity, to be honest. Just a bit weird, you know, like strange looks, maybe. Maybe that's just my lips or something. <laughs> um, so, Rebecca, it's my birthday today. So, happy birthday, Ollie Waldron. Are you, a, is that Leo? Is it still Leo? Is it still Leo time? What is my favourite Madonna song? Oh, my goodness. This is so difficult because I absolutely love the album. And I I really, you know, when she was still with Guy Ritchie, she did Hung Up, that whole album. I don't know what the album's called, but I had it and I loved it so much. I really loved, um, God, what was it called? I think it's Abraham or something like that. Um, I loved all those songs and there wasn't a single bad one. But M Madonna has done a lot of hits. But I, that was my particularly favourite album, to be fair. And I did like Frozen. You know, I think I really fall in love with her image, like the way she dresses. Like I watch the video and I think, wow, she's so fit. She has like the best body ever. She always has done. Um, but yeah. There's a lot of songs that I like of hers. Actually, my um, old school best friend is enormous Madonna fan, Amy Wheeler. We were uh, at school together and we're still very, very close. We're best friends. And she is crazy about Madonna, like mad crazy. I love being a mistress. I love it. Best Saturday morning TV show going live with Philip Schofield. <laughs> oh, eight one, eight one, one, eight one, eight one. I even remember the phone number. I've met loads of American stars. Isaac, that is it, Isaac? Is it Isaac? Got you. Bo Boyd, is it Isaac? Yeah. It goes do, 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 do. If anyone knows. <laughs> uh, Jeff Doggins, you're in the wrong group, baby. You're in the wrong. This is not that profile. <laughs> uh, Rudy, thank you. Uh, you. Fun or realism is Rudy. Thank you for asking. Rudy is a little cutie. He's my dog. 
Uh, please can you check my Twitter question? I only sent it about two minutes ago. Okay, let me go and check your Twitter question. If you were, yeah, Twitter's quite. Okay, I like this question. What are my thoughts on the Mitsubishi Charisma, this car? Okay, so let me have a little look at this car. You know, honestly, I think the positive, let's look at the positivity of this car. It's got four wheels. It looks like it's, you know, it's not too, it's not scratched. But it's not my cup of tea. I like the fact it's got four doors. And it would be perfect for fake taxi. Absolutely. That would be great. Just chuck the sticker on it. Job done. Um, next question. I'm going to like that from Twitter. Let's see who else sent, sent one. Oh, we don't have any more questions. Let me see if we've got any more from um, Patreon. <clears throat> so let's have a little look. No, any more questions? Any more questions? Let's see what we've got going on in here. Have I ever, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about those experiences, Vix. Um, I'm very new to YouTube and I don't want to, um, but yes, I have. And if I do find out that I'm allowed to talk about that, then I will definitely talk about that in due course. Um, hello, Kevin Scott. Oh, Chris Peaches, how do I feel about fan art? I absolutely love it. I think somebody has taken the time out of their day to make that art. And um, I've had some incredible pieces done, but I've had some absolute <laughs> terrible ones. <laughs> like, they're so funny. They're so bad. They're brilliant. Um, and I love them too. I love them too. They're hysterical. I love the bad ones. I love the good ones. It's such a compliment to have fan art made of me. So, yeah, I love it. Okay. <laughs> Akoran Tremaine Hermandes. Did I get that right, that name? So, do I think spanking friends unexpectedly is a good form of um, stabilizing friendship? Well, you know, me and my friends, we do do that. So it just depends. Depends what response you get. Oh, Slather Studios. Oh, my goodness. I want to go to the bar first, the first time that I go to the ranch. I want to go to the bar and have a cocktail. And then I want to see one of those amazing live performances and dance in outrageous outfits with you, darling. I love you, Bailey. I'm so glad you're here. I don't, uh, how often do you do, I do, I'm going to be doing these Q and A's. Oh, what is my number one ranch fancy? Oh, well, that would be to slather it up with you, baby. Ding. Um, so how I'm going to be doing these Q and A's every Monday at 7 p.m. and see how they go. Oh, my thoughts on Chromatica, amazing! I listen to I listen to it training all the time, and it did like take you when she had those um, what do you call them interludes. Um, it took you into another dimension for me. I, it was like so like you just felt one with the music. Um, my favorite one song i do like my name isn't alice my name isn't alice <laughs> i know how to ruin a song my favorite youtuber myself because i'm not really into youtube my daughter showed me a little bit i didn't have a clue um i follow random people on youtube i used to use youtube to like find out how to put up a shelf I didn't, I'm, I'm doing YouTube because um, it gives me a platform to go away from the other side of things and to talk about normal stuff and that doesn't just revolve around my nine to five, <laughs> if you know what I mean. 
<laughs> my best, oh my goodness, my best Disney movie from Mikey Allen. What is it? So, of course, it's The Little Mermaid. It does indeed, Kevin Spot. Owen Quinn has asked me, have I ever had a relationship while being, wow, these questions are coming thick and fast, while being um, a performer? Yes, I have. I did date a performer. Never again. Never again. It's just not for me. Um, I just, the UK scene is very small and everybody knows everybody. Um, I like people in the industry, but not performers like I'm I just it just didn't work so for me it's because everybody knows everybody it's like it's like dating someone in your office so no I'm not doing it again yeah Nicki Minaj is great she did indeed Mikey Allen do you know what I'm gonna put it out there and I don't care but I really liked my favourite album, album was Arctic Monkeys, <laughs> that one. I can't even remember what the album was called, but I listened to it. I still listen to it and I am not ashamed of it. Some people hate the Arctic Monkey, Monkeys, but I like them. I'll tell you what the album was. I've got it on me. I've got it on here. And I, when I find an album, I will listen to it to the death. Oh, what is it called? Um, what was it? AM? Oh, I love that album. I still love it. People be like, oh, nah, 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 nah. I'm like, oh, I don't care. Yeah, I like what? I have. I don't think I've been to Doncaster. No. Oh, I've got questions. This question. Oh. Also, okay. I'm going to also say. I'm going to say hello to my gorgeous friend, Jen. It's Jen to you. And isn't she beautiful? Look at her. Isn't she? She looks like another pop star. Isn't she? So I've done that. I think. And also, I am going to be looking at all of my Patreon supporters' pictures. How, so how is it Stefan that's Stefan isn't it when it's P&H Stefan S-T-E-P-H-E-N that's Stefan you're gorgeous I love that blue shirt you're wearing and you also remind me a little bit of Matt Camp very nice I hope all my Patreon um, supporters all put an icon so as I can look at your pictures Simon Hamilton, he's actually got a fox icon. So uh, I presume he's a fox. Leon Byford has got a little cartoon with little glasses and look very cute. I know Eric Jones and you're very sexy. I love that little outfit you've got. You look like you're at a um, festival in that one. And... Daniel Matthews looks very happy and very dapper and very gorgeous in his tuxedo. Mm. Kieran Pline, you look very cheeky in your glasses. You look like you've done something wrong in this picture. You look very naughty. And Austin River. This picture, darling. You are in a cock destroyer t shirt and you are leaning up against a giant. Giant. It's giant, isn't it? We can't say this on YouTube what it is. It's very big, Austin. You're leaning up against it. <laughs> and Chris, up. Uh, you look gorgeous. Look at that cheeky smile. Oh, he's lovely. He's lovely. Isn't he lovely? Shall I show you him? Isn't he lovely? I wonder if I'm allowed to do this. I'm so. <laughs> right. Hello, everybody. Oh, hold on. Someone did say something. Okay. 
Stephen, like, st okay, Stephen, I am sorry. I'm getting Stephen. Stephen, but it's, I'm a little bit dyslexic. Oh, oh okay. I'm going to show you them. This is Stephen. It's cute, isn't he? Reminds me a bit of Matt. Do I, is it Stephen, isn't it? Like that. Or Stefan. Stefan. I, did, I wasn't in school for very long. Can I have selfie? Yeah. Yeah, you can have selfie. Stephen. Do I use Reddit? I don't use Reddit, but I know lots of people that do. I, I can just about handle the platforms that I am on. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on OF. And I'm on here. And that's a lot of management already. And then I've got WhatsApp. I've got emails. I've got other websites. <laughs> I can't handle all this. Actually, Reddit, I don't even know what that's about. I know that people are on it. Okay. What's it like being best friends with Sophie? Let me tell you, it's amazing. She is hysterical. She's so much fun. There's nothing better than having best friends who you know, know what you're thinking, they know when something's up, they, they're always up for a laugh, they're always up for, you know, like, should we do this? So, yeah, she's awesome. She's always game for a laugh, that girl. Okay, another one, can I have a selfie? You're asking that a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to go to Belfast. I haven't, I... <clears throat> I haven't got any plans. I'm not saying I'm not going to Belfast. <laughs> I I went to Belfast. When did I? I haven't been to Belfast. <laughs> I've been. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very confused right now. There's all these lights. Max Deeds. He's a very lovely lad, and we went skiing. We went snow. We learned to snowboard together. Me and Max Deeds. We've performed. He's he's great. He is absolutely lovely. He's got his own clothing line. A bit like me. Okay. Okay. I can't answer questions related to those things. Anything I can't I'm anything to do with my nine to five job, which we all know what that is. I can't I don't think I can answer them. I'm not sure. I don't want to lose my YouTube channel. So we've got to keep it PG. I don't watch soaps, FB. I don't watch soaps. I do have a university degree in law. I know. I had to study very hard for that because, as you can see, writing is not my... Th well, it, it, you know, I like using words. I like writing, but... Um, I'm a little bit um, bad at spelling and stuff. And I'm not ashamed to say that. I'm not ashamed to say that. I possibly haven't been diagnosed with dyslexia. We never know. But I am not great at um, spelling at times. So, yeah, I had to try. I had to do really, really well in my, <clears throat> I had to study extra hard. Um, and, yeah, then I just decided to become an actress, an actress, an actress. <clears throat> My life began when I became gay icon. It's the best thing in the world. <laughs> oh, someone just said, show me your feet. I think you're on the wrong platform, sir. Oh, I wonder, does that mean they're on YouTube? <clears throat> I've never done this long questions and answers. I've got 20 whole minutes to just hang out with you guys. I didn't think I was going to last this long. I didn't know I had it in me. Oh, I was in Sorrento. Yeah, I love, I love Italy. Italy is wonderful. You know, their pizza is amazing. You can, I didn't go to a bad restaurant once in Sorrento and Capri. It was a lot of fun there.
Owen, I can't talk about that, darling. Callan Kent, thank you for joining my Patreon. Mate, I hope you put a little picky up so as I can see your face. And um, Patreon is a lot of fun. You should definitely join it. It's a wonderful space to be and have me all to yourself. Where's my favourite place I visited? Always, always. I love Europe. I love Europe. But I did, you know, I do like America too. Um, I went to some beautiful places when I recently visited um, LA and I'll probably be going out there again. But I love Italy and the south of France. They're so beautiful. Amazing. Hello, Aman. I went to Ealing University. Yes, many moons ago. I started off actually in Swansea and then I moved. I do, Bobby. I definitely know what we are. <laughs> oh, my favourite ice cream flavour is the one with no calories in it. Because I'm on a diet. And I can't enjoy things like that right now. So don't get me thinking about ice cream. So I like any vegan ice cream. So let me think. What would I... I like coconut. I like coconut. Mm. I like mangoes as well. I like all that like Malibu-y stuff. Who do I like to go on a date with? Oh. Who do I want to go on a date with? Someone really funny. But I might be taken and they're really funny. Because <laughs> they might be watching. And I know they hate when I go, oh, who do I want to go on a date with? Because I'm so free and available. <laughs> I do like wearing wigs. I love wearing wigs. Um, we did a shoot and we, oh my God, I forgot the name. Who was it for? Hold on. Hold on. That would be really bad. Okay, we'll forget about that. I did um, a shoot with amazing hair. And oh my god, I, oh, I loved it so much. I love big hair. I love big, big 60s, 70s hair. But I just can't do it myself. <laughs> I'm so busy. I'm busy all the time. So I can't do my hair so much. So that's why I just have my own natural hair, you know, and I just like do stuff to it. So what should we expect out of my YouTube page? Well, why don't you just stay and you'll find, because I'm busy working on it all the time, and you can expect entertainment, honey, at its finest. That's what you can expect. What is my age and my height? Well, I'm actually, I'm, um, I'm actually really sure I'm like, how tall am I? I'm sort of like five foot something, which isn't like that short. But um, yeah, everybody thinks I'm really tall in heels, but I'm not. Um, so yeah, if you can, like when you see me and Sophie together, Sophie's a lot taller than me. Um, and my age, well, everybody knows my age because it was my birthday last week. I'm 40. And don't ask my weight because I'm not going to answer that because I'm currently on a diet. And when I get to my goal weight, I'll let you know. Would I ever consider playing Roxanne in Chicago on Broadway? Well, yes, I would. But the fact that I can't sing might kind of give me a stumble block. <laughs> like, who would come and see it? I'd have to mime. And then so I'll mime to Sophie. <laughs> Sophie's probably got more chance of that happening. Unless I can, like, freestyle a rap. <laughs> I do, Aiden. I remember being at the principal of Manchester Hotel. And I do remember you. Very nice to see you again. So, <clears throat> what does the usual day in my life look like? Well, this is a very good question. So, I'm going to keep this PG, and you can, like, add in the bits that you want. But I get up 
and I go out and I do all my training in the morning and then I come back and then I think, oh, what am I going to do today? Shall I, what outfit should I wear? What scene should I wear? Shall I like do some customs? And then I'll set up one of the rooms in my house and I'll shoot loads of stuff and then I'll be sorting out my photos i'll be doing meetings for daddy couture and then i'll be going oh my god my life is so busy and then i'll be going oh my god i need to work till like 10 o'clock tonight because i've got the live so it's absolutely manic starts off lovely it's like this big wave of chaos and so it's really you know it's just me i manage myself don't need a manager because nobody can do a better job than me i manage myself i'm good at it and yeah, so it involves just doing loads of stuff. You know, I have like outfits, people are asking me what they want me to wear for their customs. I'll be shooting stuff for my adult films, blah, blah, blah. Got to be careful. I don't even know if I can use the word adult. So, but yeah, I have a very full day. Um, I do eat in that, obviously. Um, and I cook healthy food for lunch. So I'll have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I'll have dinner. I'm having dinner tonight. Um, I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight, but it's going to be healthy because I've only got 599 calories left. I'm a Leo. Thank you, Marlon Oliviero. Oliviera for that. I am Leo. Thank you very much. You call me a vibrant Leo. You eat egg. Will you become an egg? Well, I wouldn't eat egg, darling. Piggy... Ligif, I wouldn't eat egg. I didn't destroy brownies today, honey, because I'm not allowed. I'm trying to slim down because I've become a bit of a porker during the pandemic, a porker in my eyes. And um, what I'm comfortable with, I do not judge other people's weight. That is nothing to do with me. How I feel and talk about myself is how I wish. And um, it's a joke, by the way. I don't actually really think I'm a porker. Um, but yeah, I did eat a little bit too much. I'm on a diet now. Greetings from Gay Germany. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Laura Leggy. Faye vegan dish to cook. Honestly, I love, I, oh my God, I love all the food in the world. I love um, vegan lasagna. I love all those naughty things. I just love it. I love sushi. I just love everything vegan happy birthday badaba you're 30 thank you very much kevin scott for the lovely um kamal darling it's not the place to be asking that um so demetrius hello darling your friend carl loves me kyle loves me but he can't watch and he wants me to say hi to him from me. Hello, Kyle, from me. <laughs> okay, this is Raj. Raj is from India. Say hello, please. Hello, Raj, from India. Nice to meet you. Love from uh, San Jose in California. Hello, Anthony. I love Sundays. Me and Sophie are very much into our days. I have a Monday, which is Mistress More Monday in latex, and I have a Tuesday, which is a very specific type of thing, and then I have a Wednesday, which is actually a little bit of a day off, but it's not. I never actually have a day off. Um, Sunday is meant to be a day of rest, but not for me, because it never is. In fact, I never really get days of rest, if I'm honest. I'm worked to a bone. Why is my... It's not plugged in. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Where were we? Aiden Robinson. If I had a superpower, what would it be? My superpower would be to... Um, now, I'll tell you what they wouldn't be, is flying and being invisible. That's pointless. I would like to be a super hacker. I want to be a super hacker and be able to, like, get people's money... <laughs> <laughs> and like give people money to you know like a hack what's his name amazon guy just take a couple of his a few quid <laughs> that's probably very illegal um but you know we're fantasizing here 
I want to be a, my superpower, be super hacker. <laughs> okay, that's too, okay, Aman. That's too many. It's too many. You're too many, darling. Please don't copy and paste that many times. <laughs> okay, Aman, Sunday is fun day. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> do you know what? My favorite director of all time would have to be Dick Bush. Wow. I mean, he is incredible. The stuff he does with the camera is second to none. I mean, and then he can, he, he even manages to sort of get in front of the camera as well and be amazing. And he can literally extract things out of people that <clears throat> they never knew was in them. Dick Bush is amazing. He's worked with big, big stars. And I've been very lucky to work with him. I don't keep retiring. I retired once. Why are you holding it against me? <laughs> I'm not actually a lawyer, but I do, I did graduate law school but i didn't then go on to the bar so technically my degree is useless now because i think you've got to do something that with it within five years but you know who knows i'm a smart cookie if i decided to go back and study again i'm sure i'd get all those stars and be very good like no matter what i put my mind to i'm probably good at it. i mean if i was good at if i did tennis i'd probably be champion or something Modest. Demetrius, there is lots of new Daddy Couture stuff on its way and very exciting things. You need to keep an eye on the website. Make sure you get your Daddy Couture stuff from there. A very sex positive brands. What did you what did everybody think of the Spunk Island advert? <laughs> Why do, people, why do people have to WhatsApp me when they know that I am deep in conversation with my fans? Okay, I've got a question from Jordan. Can everybody slow down? I'm going to try to read Jordan's out. When you and Sophie recorded the High Guides video, did you know it was going to blow up and make you both green in the gaze? That what a lovely thing to say. We had not a clue. We had not a clue. And thank you for having us. Honestly, we didn't have a clue. We didn't have a clue. We were just being ourselves. Thank you, fat, fat gay sad. I'm not calling you that. That is his name. That is his name. I'm not calling him that. That's actually his name. I'm very sorry about my lashes. I took them, I put them on really quickly. Oh, so, so this is the uh, this is the interview room. Those are my look at those lovely curtains there. They're rather nice, aren't they? And this is where Sophie's going to stay. She's going to stay in. So this is very nice. Now I've got a crown up there, king, queen. They are both non-binary. I'll have you know, and my lovely pillow. It's very nice. I have a very nice home. David Milton met me twice. He bought me some kinky boots. Happy 50th, David Milton. Creamy 40. That was 10 years ago that he wrote that, wasn't it, darling? <laughs> okay, Michelangelo. Can everyone slow down? Stop, because I can't read. Okay, I've, all right, it's gone out of control now. You've all gone crazy. You're all asking loads of things. Hello, Ben. Hello, California. I cannot believe it. I've nearly been on an hour. I never knew I was going to do this long. <clears throat> Yay! You, he's cop Callum's cop it. Let me see. Let me see, Callum. See your picture. Callum's a cop destroyer. 
There he is. Meet Callum. He's a fox icon right now. Welcome to the Pleasure Dome, Callum. It's lovely to meet you. Hello, darling. I have kids. Yes, they are big and they think I'm fucking... <gasps> they think I'm amazing. Like my, everybody does. <laughs> Apart from people who hate me. <laughs> Which isn't very many. Apart from sometimes boyfriends. <laughs> don't, don't text me. I know you're watching. <laughs> uh, your chances of getting a like on Instagram are very high. Very high. I'm a very likable pe person. Okay, I want to just give everything a bit of a wrap up. What I want to do right now. I want to say... Thank you to, obviously, Callum, brand new Patreon member. I want to say thank you for all my Patreon mem members for joining me, supporting me. If you want to become a Patreon member, then do it. <laughs> it's really good place to be. Anyway, I've got to go now. I don't actually. I've got four more minutes to go. So let's, you know, let's hang out in my bedroom. This is fun. This is a lot of fun. Let's have a few more questions, shall we? Everybody. Also, you get the new previews on Patreon. You get to see everything earlier than anyone else. It's the VIP area. Roy, Roy, I don't smoke, but thank you for asking. But if I was to smoke, I'd smoke a Vogue, Vogue menthol. They're the best. They've been banned now. Dimitri, thank you very much. Check my Patreon questions again. I'll have to answer them next time, darling. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm still here. I'm just checking. There's no more questions. There's no more questions. Kevin Scott, I've already worked that one out. I I know. I know. You get you buy the normal Vogues and then you put the minty thing in. Why weren't they doing that? From the beginning, I thought my life was over. So everybody needs to go now, spread the word, join Rebecca's YouTube channel. And I'll see, I'm going to be doing these questions and answers until you all get sick of me. So, <clears throat> Jordan... How do I say so positive? I, I it's just in my it just runs through my veins. I'm just a very positive person. I've got nothing to be negative about, apart from when something goes wrong, and then I'm not gonna come on here and tell you that, am I? So you get the best of me, you lucky things. Um questions and answers. Um hopefully they will if I work out how to do that. I'm sure they will. I'm going to give you all a kiss and I don't know how to say this. Hopefully I'll know what I'm doing, but I'm, thank you so much for everybody. You've all been so wonderful, so respectful, some really fun questions. And um, I look forward to seeing you again sometime. Lots of love. Thank you so much for joining my first ever questions and answers on YouTube. Au revoir. Have a wonderful day. Love you all. Join my Patreon. End stream. Bye. <laughs> Are you sure you want to end stream? Well, not yet, but you know, I have got stuff to do. So I'm going to end it now.